Hi everyone, I'm Miss Kat with the Calcasieu Parish Public Library. Do you have some leftover flowers that you just don't want to get rid of? Yes? Well, I have the perfect project for you. We're going to make pressed flower bookmarks that are solely unique to you. So follow along and I hope you enjoy. Goodbye. First, you will need a flat surface, an old book you would like to reuse, some clear self-adhesive liner, a ruler, some scissors, and of course, a flower of your choice. First, we're going to open our book to a random page. Then we're going to place our flower gently on the pages. You can pick apart the petals and arrange them delicately so that they can all press individually. Now we're going to close our book and let it press. In order for our flower to press nice and flat, you will also need some heavy material. You can use a weight, or like me, use some books. And this should be your product. This was a rose I previously pressed. Now we're going to cut two pieces of our clear self-adhesive liner. One should be six inches by two inches and the other six and a half inches by two and a half inches. First, we will take our six inch by two inch piece and carefully peel the backing off like so. And now with the sticky side up, we will place it on the table and then we'll get to arrange our flower. Be sure to carefully press your flower and petals into the liner. Now with our petals arranged, we're going to take our six and a half inch by two and a half inch piece and carefully place it over our petals. This creates a seal and thus creating our bookmark. Be sure to try to get as much of the air bubbles out so that we have a nice tight seal and preserve the petals for our beautiful bookmark. Time to grab those scissors and trim up the sides. You can trim as much as you would like off, creating a smaller bookmark if you would like. Now it's time to admire your handiwork. I hope you enjoyed following along with this craft video and I encourage you to make your own pressed flower bookmark. 